Hello, and welcome back to the Electrical Building Design Show. I'm your host, David Robinson. Today I want to talk to you about the new features in Revit 2024 from the perspective of an electrical engineer. Now Revit has a lot of features in it. Some of them are focused on architects, some of them for structural engineers, some of them for MEP engineers. Revit just takes MEP and just lumps that all together as one thing. But really MEP you need to break out because what's going on for mechanical is a lot different from what's going on for electrical. So we're going to drill down and take a look at just the features that you as an electrical engineer are going to care about in Revit 2024. Before we jump into the features, I do want to comment on the fact that the version of Revit you use is not really something you as an electrical engineer actually have any control over. Someone else is going to be making the decision about the Revit version. Usually it's the architect who is going to be the one driving the Revit version. They're going to say, this is the version of Revit we're using on the project. As an electrical engineer, you follow along. It's very rare that you'd come into a situation where you would see a new feature in Revit and you could go to the architect and say, hey, Mr. Architect, I've got this new feature in Revit that's really going to help me in my electrical design and he says yes that's a good idea we're going to go ahead and change everything that everyone else is doing for what the electrical engineer works that's just not the reality of our industry so you're going to be working in the version of revit that the architect asks you to work in that said architects are generally motivated to upgrade their version of revit they want to be on the latest version autodesk makes it hard to work on the older versions of revit and there's a lot of new features coming out in the new versions of revit that actually make them better platforms to work on as time goes on the version of your revit projects will increase so let's take a look at what you're going to get to use when you do finally get that Revit 2024 project on your desk. Let's start with the features specific to electrical engineers. Now Autodesk kind of groups their new features in different categories. They have a systems category, which really covers the whole MEP ecosystem. We're going to drill down and take a look at what they've added specific to the E portion of that. So what electrical engineers are going to be caring about. All the new features in Revit 2024 for electrical engineers are related to their electrical analysis tool. So going down the list that Autodesk published, they added demand loads. They added some demand factors, they added non-coincident loads, and they improved the performance of this feature. Now, all of that is not going to make a whole lot of sense unless you're actually using the electrical analysis tool. These changes are the second iteration of the electrical analysis tool, and they really only make sense in the context of what that tool is doing. So if we step back to take a look at the bigger picture of that feature, this is a tool for doing your electrical load calculations before you have your building modeled. The idea is that generally in your workflow, Flow, you don't start by placing panels on a floor plan. You're starting to think about your transformers and your one line and the pieces of equipment, and you probably don't even have a model from the architect yet. So you're putting together the preliminary design. So they call it the electrical analysis for preliminary design. So this is all the stuff you're doing before you've got a background for the architect. So you're starting to think about what the size of the building is going to be, so what that load is going to correspond to. The typical workflow for most engineers is that you're actually doing this in Excel. You have an Excel spreadsheet that you've built up over the years where you're laying out all of your loads and you can use that before you have anything from the architect to do your design. The idea for this feature is to take all of those calculations and move them into Revit, which from a building information modeling perspective for electrical design is probably a good idea. It gets all of that electrical information into your building model. Unfortunately, it's not quite there yet in terms of functionality because all of this preliminary design has no connection to the actual panels that you place in your Revit model. So you can create a panel in preliminary design and then you can create a panel in the Revit model, but you can't connect the two. So there's no connection happening between the two phases. So what you have is really a glorified Excel spreadsheet happening in Revit that's not going to be as functional as what you actually have in Excel. So Autodesk is attempting to solve this by adding these additional features that they added in Revit 2020 so that you can do a more complete electrical calculation. I'm not sure they're quite there yet in actually having a tool that's going to be better than what you're doing in Excel. So if you're using those electrical analysis features, you've got some improvements in Revit 2024. I'm guessing for most people, it's not going to matter because the tool is not to the point where you can actually use it to replace what you're doing in Excel right now. So that's it for features specific to electrical engineers. It's a pretty short list. The systems list of new features has some other stuff related to mechanical engineers. Those changes aren't going to be relevant to what you're doing as an electrical engineer. There are also changes to the core features, and these are going to have an impact on what you're doing because these are just changes to the basic Revit functionality that apply to all disciplines. Most of these features are really quality of life improvements. They're taking the existing features and kind of cleaning them up, uh, either improving the functionality, just taking what, what is there and making it work a little better, 
or taking things that didn't work terribly well and fixing that. You can quibble over whether those are bug fixes or not, but they're taking something that wasn't as well put together as it could have been and they're improving it. So if you're using these features, you're going to see the change, but if you're not using the feature, it's not something that would inspire you to use any of these new features. Revit 2024 is going to be a more user-friendly environment to work in. It's going to be more productive, but they're features that you're just going to naturally stumble upon as you're using the features that already exist. It's not going to be changing your workflows at all. That said, there are a few features that I do want to highlight just so that you're aware that they're there. First of all, they did make some changes to the project browser tab. This is a feature that pretty much everyone in Revit is going to be using. So I'm pretty sure that you're going to see these changes. They added a search option. So that's incredibly helpful because you have the long list of all of your views and schedules and everything else in that project browser. It can get really long. It can be hard to find what you're looking for. So the search is going to be a very helpful tool for digging down and getting to the view that you want to get. They also added some keyboard shortcuts so you can use the arrows to move up and down to select the views. Uh, that's you know going to be helpful if you're the kind of person who does like to use those keyboard shortcuts. So it's just there and available as a new feature. They also added a dark theme. So it took the light gray background that was in Revit and they added an option to make it a dark gray background. It's just a visual change, but it does give the people who like dark themes the option to have that. So you can toggle that in the options and you can go to a dark theme if you want. Finally, the revision clouds got some scheduling functionality. So if you do use revision clouds and you want to be able to schedule those, that's been added. So that's actually a nice improvement to that feature for being able to get some scheduling on those revision clouds. And that's it for what I would consider the headlining core features that they added. There's a bunch of other changes that they did there. I don't want to discount the work that they did in Revit 2024. There's kind of two ways you can go with your features. You can go with width, which is adding new functionality to software. And you can also go with depth, where you're taking the features that you have have and making them more useful. In terms of new feature videos like this, the width ones are the more interesting because that takes your functionality and it gives you more functionality, more things that you can do with the software. The depth isn't as interesting because it's taking what's already there and just making it work better. It's actually going to be super useful in terms of productivity, but it's just tweaking what you're already using. So you can use the software, your workflows will be exactly the same just a little bit more efficient. That's what you have to look forward to in Revit 2024. If you're using those electrical analysis tools, you're gonna to have a little bit more functionality there. Uh, for most people, it's just gonna be the quality of life changes that they made to increase the depth of the features that already exist.